Hi, I'm Nancy. I'm the CEO of Batik Fractal. Batik Fractal is a social enterprise based on technology where we provide technology, software, uh, the software design to uh, empower the batik artisans and to empower the batik industry in Indonesia. Uh, to date, we have 2,000 users across Indonesia and we also produce batik uh, products and we sell uh, in Indonesia and also outside Indonesia. Why, why we are doing this? Because we, want, we would like to see uh, our culture in batik uh, textile and batik culture is empowered by technology. And we want to sustain this culture until the next generation. And uh, we, are, we believe that technology is the way to do that. In doing that, we also would like to have fun with technology. Technology is genderless, right? We invite everybody who wants to, to learn uh, uh, to use our software. But we see that, unfortunately, more men than women who wants to learn uh, using the technology. Not because, not because they're not interested, but probably it's not it's not in their mind yet to use to, to learn about technology because there's a misconception among the lower um, lower income uh, community that technology is a man's world. How does Batik Fractal make money? Batik Fractal now make money in two ways. First, uh, we are selling the product, the Batik product, and second, we are uh, selling our software. The selling of the software itself, you can we can sell it just by itself, or we can also sell uh, uh, included with the training, uh, the training for for the software. In terms of uh, batik production, we we'll take care of the design using uh, using this technology. This something new is always the main first. Uh, I'm designing a training that is really uh, uh, focusing on women. So in my mind, that it still need to be validated. In my mind, because we see that men and women are uh, are equally interested to to learn about technology, but uh, the access, the perception, the, the the proximity, probably the timing, the approach, maybe needs to be adjusted if you are targeting women, because um, we're talking about women artisans and. Doing batik for them is in between their domestic work, so it's around the house. So you probably need to bring the training closer to the house. That kind of um, I am designing that training right now. How do they benefit from working with the batik factor? The benefit from working with us is they uh, they have alternative market because our market is totally different from what. The market. The market is basically just local. And then we bring uh, their work to outside, to outside the area, so they don't have to compete with uh, the neighbors. They don't have to compete with um, uh, in price wars because it, between themselves. The younger artisans now wants to do bad thing. So, so just the, the there's there's a sustainability. Uh, the sustainability of the batik business will be assured.